The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. Everybody. Welcome to our latest installment of the HGFL. This is Big Polly coming to you. We have one matter of unfinished business from last week. Green Bay and Chicago. We, we could play this game out because we did not uh, have games with them yet so far this, uh, uh, this week, week eight. So we're going to play this out of sequence just a bit. And that's why it was stuck on week seven because we forgot to do this game. So let's recap it. From week seven, it was Chicago 38-24 over Green Bay. And we'll show you the box score here, various uh, scores. Green Bay was an 11-point dogs. Walter Payton, uh, one player of the game honors, the MVP. And it was Chicago 383 yards to 306 for Green Bay. Chicago was perfect in the red zone. Four touchdowns, one field goal, 31 of their 38 points. They ran 55 plays. Green Bay ran 57 by my count. They had a little better time possession uh, advantage. So I should have done this recap on Friday, but you're, you're seeing it. Just You might have noticed that, hey, he forgot to do Green Bay in Chicago. Uh, Luckman, a good day, 14-29, 242 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Walter Payton, 125 yards on 20 carries. And Conway caught seven catches and led in receiving yardage with 113. And your tackling leader was Tillman with eight for the Bears. So they win 38-24, to 24. so now all the Game 7 games have been played. Of course, when we had COVID, we kind of had situations like that in the 2020-2021 season. So Chicago moves up to 5-2, and two, and Green Bay falls to 1-6. and six. Now we can get you to where we were, Week 8, the third game of Week 8. And it's going to be San Francisco and Detroit. I'll be playing as Detroit. The computer will play as San Francisco. Good luck to me, right? We're inside at Ford Field, Dome Stadium. And I'll have the computer set the roster. All 100 men on the roster can be used at any time. And there you see the quarterback, Steve Young and Bobby Lane. And Lane and 83.1, not too far off of Steve Young's 90.8. We saw last week. Uh, Steve Young is a dual threat. He can run. He can he can pass it. Coin flip goes to San Francisco, who deferred, and Detroit will get the ball to start the first half. I'm doing this uh, not too long before noon Eastern time on Wednesday, February 23rd. I have electrical work being done on the house, so I thought I would sneak in all the heavy work uh, before all that happened, the, the electrician coming by around 3, 4 o'clock. So Watkins, Fennerbach, and Walker back deep. And if they come early, well, I'll just get as much of it in as I can and then do the rest later. Ned need a kickoff, and a kick went into the end zone. It looked like it landed somewhere around Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And Detroit gets a first and 10 at their own 20. Sanders and Jones are your running backs. Sanders is a 5. Jones is a 7. That is James Jones. Those are their receiver numbers. Herman Moore, Calvin Johnson, a 10 and an 8 receivers. Charlie Sanders is a 6. He's your tight end. Lane, the quarterback out of Texas. I think he's out of Texas, right? Let me just double check that. Yep, he's out of Texas. He can also kick if needed, needed to do so. Brown. Stanfield, Glover, Sewell, and Creekmore. A nine, a nine, an eight, an eight, an eight. Looks like a full house to me. And that's your offensive line. And we'll go double tight end, as I always like to do, and go Barry Sanders. Of course, Sanders played most of his career in a four-wide receiver set. 
in that run and shoot offense. A gain of nine, so Detroit off to a good start. Grayson making the tackle for San Francisco. The Gold Miners, Gold Raiders, not the Gold Miners, Gold Raiders are a combination of 49ers and Raiders. They won the hometown bowl last year. Haley, a 10 plus defensive end, along with Hartman, Namalini, and Stubblefield, two nine defensive tackles. These are their defensive ends. Mack, Willis, Wilcox, a 10, a 10, and a 9 at the linebacker positions in the base formation. Willie Brown and Jimmy Johnson are a 10 and a 9, respectively. Ronnie Lott and Grayson are a 10 and a 9 at safety. So a very stacked defense for San Francisco, the Gold Raiders. You see that's Dave Grayson. I always like to give him credit because I always forget what his last name is. We'll give to Sanders again, outside run, second and one, just calling a generic run, letting the computer call the play tight. That's a gain of six, and Sanders off to a good start, 15, car uh, 15 yards on two carries. He ran for 131 in a game we did last week against Minnesota. So now a first and ten. We're going to open up the offense a little bit. Perriman and Cogdill will come in as wideouts, and we'll trap it with Billy Sims. And Billy Sims into the secondary and then some, a 24-yard pickup. That's his longest gain of the year. So a 13.07 left to go opening quarter. We'll do San Francisco's offense and Detroit's defense the first time the Gold Raiders get the ball. Back to an eye formation, Barry Sanders, off tackle right. They like to put Sims in when they go into the four wide. Probably because he's a better pass catcher. Two-yard gain for Sanders. That's his third carry. He's up to 17 yards. That worked out so well. We're going to try it again. Four wide, and we are going to dive with Billy Sims. One of those plays that shouldn't work, but with the running legs, it always seems to work just fine. Another four-yard gain for Billy Sims. It's third and four. We'll go three wide this time. And we'll look to Calvin Johnson on the short cross. Passing is going to be a hard bargain against this defense of San Francisco. And there's an incompletion. Setting up fourth and four. Kind of a no man's land for Detroit at the 35. Do you punt or do you kick? Well, we're going to kick because Eddie Murray can hit one from 52, 61.3% of the time. I like those odds. And it's dead solid perfect. The kick is good by Eddie Murray who would later play for Dallas and won a couple of Super Bowl rings, maybe just one uh, with Dallas. It's 3 nothing Lions. Woodson, Aide Woodson, who is a deep uh, kickoff return threat. Washington and Roberson back deep. And there's your kickoff to Washington, and he's going to take it out. A fumble on the play, and Detroit gets the ball back. Williams on the recovery. And just like that, Detroit at the 22 of San Francisco with 10.39 left. Double tight end set. We'll sweep it left with Barry. It's a one running back double tight end set. A loss of four. The blocking was not there for him. Willis on the tackle for San Francisco. So we'll have to throw it on second and 14. We're going to hitch it to Calvin. Hut, hut. And that is an incompletion. Third and 14 now. Ball to 26. We'll go four wide. And look to Perryman, but very low odds that this is going to be completed. It's dumped underneath to Billy Sims, who gained six yards. He has his first catch of the day. And Detroit can kick a 77% chance Murray hits this from 37. And Detroit has a 6-0 lead with 8.56 left to go. Opening quarter. Woodson, Washington, and Robertson back deep once again. And that is a touchback. And we can finally get to San Francisco's offense. The receiving numbers on Gore and McElhenney are a 5 and a 4. Wilson and Parks are a 9 and a 7. Kittle is a seven. Young is your quarterback out of Brigham Young, which for a while in the 70s and 80s was like where the quarterbacks went. Shell is a nine. Upshaw a 10. Otto a 10. Cross a nine. St. Clair a nine. Those are the blocking numbers for the offensive line. Another full house. 
And it's first and 10 for the Gold Raiders at the 20. Combination of the 49ers and Raiders. And you see some Raiders not making the San Francisco team winding up in Las Vegas, which is where the Raiders are right now. A gain of 9. No, I'm sorry, a gain of 11 for Gore. I had the wrong part of the 20 there. And San Francisco co co collects a first down on first down. Defensively for Detroit. Porsche and Baker are 9 and an 8, respectively. Alex Karras is a 9, and so is Brown. Walker, a 9. You can also kick. Joe Schmidt is a 10. I think that is Joe Schmidt. Could be another Schmidt. Yep, it's Joe Schmidt. And Williams is a 7. We saw him recover that kickoff earlier in the game. Dahl is a 10. Yale Larry is a 10. Hunter is an 8, and Quinn is an 8, so look for San Francisco to use the tight ends and the running backs in passing situations. That's what that tells me. First and 10 at the 31 for San Francisco. It's Hugh McElhenney. He gains 7 yards. Joe Schmidt making the tackle, and it is second and 3 at the 38 with 7.55 left to go in quarter number 1. 6 nothing. the Lions leading on back-to-back -back field goals. Gore picks up the first down. San Francisco really had to work against Las Vegas, scoring a touchdown with 10 seconds left in the game to beat the Ironman 20-17. First and 10 at the 41. It's Young looking over the middle, and he's got 85. That being Kittle for a nice gain of 36 yards. That is his longest catch of the year. And as I said, San Francisco using their tight ends and their running backs considerably, and that's how you beat Detroit. First and 10 at the 23. The give is to McElhenney. Willie Brown on the tackle, a four-yard gain, and it's second and six at the 19. We're down to 538 left opening period. And that's to Wilson. Wilson, house call. Touchdown, San Francisco. Hey, Mr. Wilson, you just scored a touchdown, and we're even at 6-6. Six, six. And your point after attempt is good Off by sides. Sebastian Defense. Janikowski. Five-yard penalty. And San Francisco will kick from the 40 with that offsides call on the point after. It's 7-6 Gold Raiders with 4.51 left. And you kind of wonder if that 6-0 lead will be as good as Detroit has it all day. Watkins, Fennebach, and Walker back deep again. And we'll down it. The kick went nine yards deep into the end zone. So we go back to the double tight end formation. And we're going to dive with Barry. Just a simple running play on first down. He stood up at the line by Dana Stubblefield. And that's going to set up second and ten. We're going to – we can't go to Jones because it's – Screen rate is very low. We're going to pitch it outside the Sanders, but San Francisco playing short, tight defense, so we're going to go medium fly to Herman Moore. Let's see if that bears fruit, and it does not, as Lane just overthrows uh, Mr. Moore, and it is third and ten. We'll go three wide, and as you hear my cat wallowing a little bit, medium cross to Herman Moore. I don't know if you can hear that. I got I got good noise canceling headphones on. Lane had to scramble for his life. He gained seven. They needed ten, so it's punting time. And Earl Morrill comes in to punt. The other dangerous John Taylor back deep for San Francisco. No, not the lead the one of the members of Duran Duran. This Taylor returns at 19 yards, a tackle by Blades. The punt went 49, so the net only 30, and San Francisco in business at their own 43 with 307 left. In the opening stanza, they lead 7-6 to six and looking for more here. The pitch to McElhenney, and McElhenney, gain of 8. San Francisco is going to be a threat every year they play to win a hometown bowl. Because you, you take a look at the 49ers and you take a look at the Raiders, and, and there were a lot of Super Bowl players between them. Uh, second and two at the 49. San Francisco has been to seven Super Bowls, and Oakland, as the Oakland Raiders, they won two Super Bowls and lost one. So third and two. So that is, what, ten Super Bowls between them just when they played in the San Francisco Bay Area? 
32. We're not counting the year the Raiders won in Los Angeles, Super Bowl 18. Third and two. We'll see what Steve Young can do here. It's a screen to Gore, who completes it to six, for six yards. First and 10 at the 43 of Detroit, San Francisco. Gain of two for Gore. Wayne Walker on the tackle for Detroit. And that moves it to second and eight at the 41. And Young in that shotgun formation throws and finds Wilson again. They had the uh, had Wilson double team, but they beat the double team. Wilson has his second catch for 30 yards, and he had the touchdown earlier on. We have played a quarter. San Francisco seven and Detroit with six. San Francisco ran 11 plays, 107 yards. They turned the ball over once in that first quarter. They have thrown. They have rushed the ball six times. Detroit. Eight rushes, four passes, 12 plays in total for 54 yards. So we begin the descent to the end of the first half. It's first and 10 at the 30 of Detroit for the Gold Raiders. The give is to McElhenney, who has a first down on first down. First and 10 now at the 20. On the tackle was Williams. First and 10 at the 20. I think I got all the lineups in. I'm pretty sure I did. That was a throw looking for McElhenney. It was young, but McElhenney drops it. Second and 10 with 14.01 to go. The ball at the 20. Young throwing, and that's a completed pass to Kittle for eight yards. On the tackle there was Quinn with one N. Not Q-U-I-N-N, -N, but Q-U-I-N. A third and two at the 12. Incomplete pass looking for Park, so Janikowski comes on. He'll try a field goal from about 30 yards. I would call it 29. Now, Janikowski was, had great range and at one point was tied for the longest field goal ever kicked. He kicked a field goal in Denver for 63, but, of course, uh, Justin Tucker holds the record now at 66. But he wasn't good on short-range kicks, and you see why there. He pulled it to the right. No good. So Detroit with the ball, they trail 7-6 to six with 13.08 now left to go. Trap it left with Barry Sanders. And that is a gain of four yards. Willis pancaking him, pancake tackle. That's when the tackle is so good it lies the, uh, the re receiver of the tackle flat on his back. That's why they call it a pancake. I'm going to take a brief sip of green tea. And we have second and six now. Yeah, to 24. I'm going to go play action short pass. We're going to fake the run, go for a pass, and we're looking for Herman Moore. That's an incompletion. Lane off to a bad start. When we, when we did the game uh, against Minnesota, I, I think I eventually had to pull him because he was not finding his targets. Third and six, he started out, starting out today one for five for six yards. That's not going to get it done. Over the middle, in the middle, to Brett Perryman. That's the plan here. Instead, he throws long, and he finds Charlie Sanders. That was not the initial plan. Longest catch of the year for Sanders, 50 big yards. And it's first and 10 for Detroit at the 26, so they could retake the lead here. With, with just a field goal. Barry Sanders off tackle to the left side on first and 10. He picks up a yard. Leo Namalini, who we have mentioned in previous San Francisco games, making the tackle. Second and nine. He had an interesting off-season job, that of a pro wrestler. And at one point, he held the NWA World Heavyweight title concurrently with Lou Fez uh, when there was a dispute after over who was the champion after a bout they had where Namalini won by count out. But Fez insisted he was the champion. So they, they kind of had dual claimants to the NWA title. This was back in the 50s. So Herman Moore will go to him on a short cross. That's incomplete. A, a traffic jam there around him. An incomplete pass setting up third and nine. So what do you do on third and nine when you're facing San Francisco and their great defense? We're going to go over the middle of the Perryman again, and this was the play that hatched uh, Charlie Sanders to be open. 
fourth and nine at the 25 after that was incomplete. Uh, Lane has started two for eight for 56. Murray will try a field goal of 42 yards, over a 70% chance he hits it, and he does. So Detroit on three field goals leads San Francisco with one touchdown, 9-7. to seven. We're down to 10-14 now left in the opening half. It's Woodson, Washington, Robertson. Again, that deep for San Francisco. But you knew that already. And that Illegal is block. Woodson. Receiving team. Making a return of 24 yards to the 25, but you have an illegal block backing San Francisco up to the 7, so they have 93 yards to go to pay dirt. Young throwing, and he finds Wilson over the middle, who's having a great game so far. Three catches for 47. That for 17. First and 10 at the 24. And we have Young calling timeout. Saw something he didn't like, so he'll go over and chat with Bill Walsh for a little bit. A first and 10 at the 24. It's Young. And that's over the middle. That is complete to Kittle. Kittle having another good day. That's an 18-yard gain to get him to three catches and 62 yards. Young starting out strong. He's 7 of 10 for 115 yards. Uh, with a little more than 20 minutes and 49 seconds exactly that have gone by in this first half. An incompletion. And McElhenney has dropped a couple today. Setting up second and 10 at the 42-yard line of San Francisco. This time it's Gore. Gore picking up 18. Williams on the tackle at the Detroit 40. So as we were saying, you're going to see a lot of pass distribution to the running backs and tight ends here. And Gore picks up his second catch. He's at 24 yards receiving on today. First and 10 at the 40. An incompletion and possibly an interception. Possibly an interception. Hunter may have intercepted it. Now the odds are good that we could get this call, so we'll go for it. Upon further review, the ball was secured before it hit the ground. Interception, no timeout, will be charged. So San Francisco continuing to be plagued by turnovers, and they're making this a lot closer game than it needs to be. James Hunter with his third interception of the year, his first today. And Detroit has the ball at the 31. We'll go double tight end again, and we're just going to keep with the meat and potatoes football here. Trapped with Barry Sanders. He will go into the secondary. Looked like Lott made the tackle, a gain of 12. He's up to eight carries and 30 yards. Coming into the day, he had 102 carries for 453. And we are going to look to James Jones just to give Sanders a little breather here on first down. Jones back to the line, gaining a yard. Willis making the tackle for the Gold Raiders. It's now a second and nine at the 44. And we will pitch it out wide to Barry Sanders. And Lane forced to call a timeout, so both teams now down to two timeouts, and San Francisco still has their challenge, and the Lions do not. We'll go Calvin Johnson on a short cross, second and nine. And with Lane quarterbacking and this stalwart defense of San Francisco's passing is going to be a hard bargain for Detroit. Lane is now two for nine for 55 yards. We'll look to Charlie Sanders, third and nine. Short hitch pass. pass. And Sanders is open. That's a gain of 16. He's having the best passing receiving day of anybody. He's caught two passes for 66, and he's a good chunk of lanes, 72 yards so far in this half. 5.46, a little left to go. It's an off-tackle left play here for Barry. And that gains four yards. And it's second and six at the San Francisco 36. Under five minutes left in the half. Nine, seven, Detroit leading. Back to Sanders. A trap to the right side. That's a pickup of three. Third and three. And again, we're going to try play action short pass here. And we're going to look to Herman Moore. Third and three. An incompletion for Bobby Lane. 
who is now 3 for 11. Murray has a 63.3% chance to hit this field goal of 50 yards. And he's 4 for 4 on the day. That kick is good. 12-7, your new score, with 3.21 to go. Woodson back deep for the Gold Raiders, and it's a touchback. First and 10 at the 20. They have uh, San Francisco has two turnovers, and they missed a field goal. Otherwise, you think they'd be plowing over the Lions here. First and 10 from the 20, and False this. start. Offense, number 85, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. So that's against George Kittle. Backing the Gold Raiders up five. It's first and 15 now from the 15. Over the middle is George Kittle. That's a way to redeem yourself. He gains all 15 yards that San Francisco needed, and it was enough for the first down. 3.09 left in the half. First and 10 at the 30. It's Young. He's throwing. He got has Wilson again. A gain of six yards. Wilson, four catches for 53. And Detroit was offered a chance to call a timeout. This would be the case when they were under three minutes. Young to Parks. That was a double cover there. No catch. Third and four at the 36. So San Francisco having their troubles. But Gore picking up 10 there, a first down. Hunter on the tackle for Detroit. 2.03 left, so oh, San Francisco did call a timeout, which I don't know why you would do with the two-minute warning so close. That's a catch for Parks, gaining 12 yards, his first grab of the afternoon. Now we are at the two-minute warning. We have 151 specifically left to go in the half, and it's Detroit 12. And the Gold Raiders, 7. Ball to 42 of Detroit for a first and 10. Young looking for Wilson, an incomplete pass. Young is now 11 for 18, 166 yards. He has thrown one pick and thrown one touchdown. Second and 10 at the 42. And it's Young. He can scramble, as we saw in that Vegas game. He runs for two yards. I'm not going to call a timeout because I'm thinking San Francisco will call their last. They do with a minute 39 left to go. Third and eight at the 40. I said third and eight at the 40. Thought I hit the button. I did not. And that's going to be Kittle picking up a first down. He got out of bounds. A gain of 10. One minute, 28 seconds left. San Francisco needs a touchdown for the lead. And he has Wilson again. Wilson has had a big day, 19 yards there. He is up now to 87 yards receiving on five catches. First and 10 at the 11. We're down to 118. That's going to be a touchdown for Hugh McElhaney. And the Gold Raiders retake the lead at 13 to 12. He'll try for the one-point extra point here. Here's Janikowski, and he's been known to miss a few. He doesn't miss this one. It's 14-12 with a minute 10 to go. Watkins, Fennebach, and Walker back deep, and we'll take the touchback with the ball being eight yards deep in the end zone. We'll go three wide and say a few prayers that we could complete some passes here. We have two timeouts left. Medium fly to somebody here. And that is Calvin Johnson. Again, a seven, and we'll use a timeout. Second and three, the ball at the 27. And now you got to start throwing some out routes here. We'll go medium out and look to Herman Moore. Second and three. Otherwise, this is going to be three and out. Incompletion. 59 seconds left to go. We'll go four wide and give it to Billy Sims on the draw. And that's going to be a one-yard gain. Now Detroit has to punt on fourth and two, but we're not going to make it easy for San Francisco. We're going to milk the play clock down to one second and call timeout with 12 seconds to go. Morrill will punt it away. And hope Taylor does not return it. Too far, it's a 14-yard return on a 57-yard punt by Morrill. He really got some oomph into that. 
looking like Young's going to take a knee here and will go to the half with the score 14-12 in favor of San Francisco. Detroit gave it a good fight. But you've got to wonder how long they're going to be able to stay in this game. We'll take a 15-second break and come right back. This is the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims YouTube channel. If you like the video you're watching, feel free to use the Amazon link provided. I'll put it in the description down below. Big Polly back with you. Your halftime score, 14-12, San Francisco over Detroit. I made an error. Uh, on our last HGFL broadcast about when we were going to do PWT, we're doing that tomorrow. If you are seeing this on the 23rd of February, we'll be doing that tomorrow, the 24th, and then we'll be doing it again from the 27th. It'll be John Pesek against Stanislav Zbysko from Hawaii tomorrow, and then we won't be doing it Saturday. We'll be doing PWT again Sunday. We'll take a day off, and then we do the loop again. In March, just completed doing Big Polly's Fight Night, so that should be up by now. And let's see here. San Francisco with a 14-12 lead. They ran 31 plays, 262 yards, so they're on a pace for over 500. 21 passes, 10 runs. Young is 14-21 to for 206, having a good day against the Detroit def uh, defense. They have run 28 plays, Detroit has, 15 rushes, 13 passes, and they have 153 yards. San Francisco has had two turnovers. They missed a field goal, but they're still winning, 14-12. So San Francisco gets the ball to start the second half as they deferred winning the coin toss. Woods in back deep, and that's a touchback. First and 10 from the 20. See how San Francisco plays it with the two-point lead. It's a give to Hugh McElhenney, who picks up another five yards. He seems to have had a good day so far. Five catches, 34 yards. I believe he had one touchdown earlier. And, no, it was the most recent touchdown with one minute, ten seconds left in the first half. Second and five. Just getting quarter number three started, if you're just tuning into this point in the video. And Young is picked off. And a nice return here by Dahl all the way down to the eight. And again, San Francisco cannot shake the turnover bug. That's the fourth pick this year for Don Dahl. A first and goal at the eight. And if they score a touchdown, I, I'm definitely thinking about going for two and making it a six-point game. Barry Sanders off tackle right side on first and goal from the eight. I might run them four times here. But Hardman... Uh, got by Creekmore to make the tackle for no gain. Second and goal from the eight. Now, if I don't get a lot of yardage, I might just kick and take the lead that way. We're going to sweep it left with Barry on second and goal from three. Still in that double tight end set. That's a pickup of four. And it's now third and goal from the four. Our odds throwing the ball here are negligible at best. Bring in Jim Gibbage. You could bring in any, but you could bring in anybody you want. You're not going to be able to do well. We're going to go triple tight end, and we're going to give it to Barry. And his best odds are going to be a pitch to the right side of scoring a touchdown. And Sanders is in for the score. The juggernaut out of Oklahoma State. And Detroit takes an 18 to 14 lead. Quarterback staying on the field, Bobby Lane. They will go for two. And we're going to try to do it again with Barry off tackle right side. And he just he gets stood up at the line there. So Detroit gets their first touchdown of the game. They missed the two-pointer. And it's 18-14 to with 12-21 to go. Yeah, you could say it was a little early to go for two, but... Uh, I figure San Francisco could easily kick a couple of field goals. She'd try to get to 20, and San Francisco could get to 20. So that's that's my figure, figurement there. That figurement is a word. Woodson again back deep for San Francisco. Who's keeping Detroit in the game with all of these turnovers. Three uh, turnovers, two picks by Young. 
and a missed field goal. Woodson returned at 36 yards to the 37, so a first and 10 for the Gold Raiders. Here's the throw. That's a catch by Gore. He gains 11. Williams on the tackle for Detroit. And we are recording this the 23rd of February, quarter past noon on the East Coast of the United States. First and 10 at the 48. Already evening in Europe. That's a throw Holding to offense. Number Wilson, 51, but it's coming back. 10-yard penalty. Randy Cross committing a holding penalty. First and 20 at the 38. But San Francisco is one of those teams. Could get 20 yards on a play. Gore on the screen pass catches for six yards. Schmidt on the tackle. Gore four catches, 41 yards on the day. Second and 14 at the 44. That's a throw. That's a catch by Parks, a gate of 21. And as we were telling you, San Francisco, they have quick strike capability. And it's first and 10 at Detroit's 35-yard line. 10-13 left in the third. Screen. McElhaney. Four yards. Walker on the tackle. And San Francisco looking at a second and six. Any score will actually know a touchdown will give them the lead. I was thinking the Lions were on 15 for some reason. George Kittle, another catch. That's his sixth of the day. A gain of 21. Quit on the stop. He has 108. Yards on today. He's been the go-to guy for Steve Young. First and goal at 10. Give is to McElhenney, who had a touchdown earlier, picking up two yards. He's up to That was his sixth carry for 36 yards. He also has two catches for 15. A second and goal at the Ocho. That's an incompletion. Looking for Parks over the mill. Tight coverage by Dahl, Don Dahl. He and his four interceptions so far this year. Third and goal at the 8. Young throwing, a little bit desperate there. Uh, it was juggled by Gore, could not hold on. So Janikowski will try a field goal of 25 yards. And did he pull it again? Yes, he did. No good. No good. So Janikowski has missed two field goals uh, from short range. And the Lions get it back with a four-point lead. We're down to 7.08 in the third. Sanders, trap right on first and ten. That is no gain. Stubblefield making the tackle. Dana Stubblefield. Second and ten at the 20. We'll go to Moore. No, we won't. We're going to pitch it to Sanders. San Francisco playing a possible zone. We'll see how loose Sanders can get. And he's got a first down, a pickup of 11. 15 carries on the day for Barry for 56 yards. First and 10 at the 31. We're going to do a play action here. We're going to look to Herman Moore, and we're going to look for the long fly. First and 10 at the 31. It's dumped underneath to Barry Sanders, who gains four yards. On the catch, that's his first catch of the day. We'll go four wide, speaking of passes. Screen it to Billy on second and six. That's Oklahoma running back Billy Sims. Gain of 13 if it stands. Encroachment defense. And it Number will stand. 73, five-yard penalty. Declined, and it's first and 10 at the 48. We'll keep the four wide formation going, and we'll go off tackle left to Billy Sims. That's a gain of Holding. four. Offense, that won't stand. Number 66, 10-yard penalty. Sewell committed holding, first and 20, and that's where Detroit does not want to be. Off tackle right, Barry Sanders. He gains five yards, his 16th carry, and he is up to 61 yards. Second and 15 at the 43. A slant to Herman Moore. <laughs> And Moore complete, it gets, a, gets the pass from Lane. That was only the seventh completion for Lane. 7 of 16, 108 yards. That to Moore went 13. So now it's third and two, and you bet your bippy. I'm going to run Barry here. And Sanders with a first down into the secondary, a pickup of 13, which ups him to 74 yards on the day. 
First and 10 at the Frisco 31. It's 18-14, Detroit leading. James Jones on the off-tackle right run will pick up four yards. Second carry of the day for five. And we're down to 203 now left in the third quarter. This game seemingly slipping away from San Francisco, but as I keep saying, they, they could they could turn it around very quickly. Sweep right, Barry Sanders. He's into the secondary again, a nine-yard gain. Even Namalini came up from behind making the tackle. First and 10 at the 18. We're down to a buck 19 left in quarter number three. Just a quick dive with Barry. Quick hitter. And he's gashing the San Francisco defense. Khalil Mack making the tackle after a gain of nine. And we'll shut it down for quarter number three. It is Detroit 18 and the San Francisco Gold Raiders 14. Sounds like that uh, Julie Andrews musical, The Sound of Music. I am 18, but you are 14. Well, anyway, fourth quarter time, 41 plays for 332 yards for San Francisco. 29 of those plays have been passes. Detroit, just the opposite. 25 of their 41 plays have been runs, and they have gained 242 yards. Detroit has not committed a turnover, but San Francisco has committed three, and that seems to have been the difference in this game. Trap right, Barry Sanders on second and one from the nine. He stood up at the line by Wilcox for no gain. Dave Wilcox out of the great University of Oregon. Third and a yard, and we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to call quarterback dive with Bobby Lane. And Lane can't close the deal. He loses a yard. Willis on the tackle. And now it's fourth and two at the 10. We'll bring out the field goal team. Eddie Murray will try to go five for five on field goals. And he does so. That field goal, holding 27 offense, yards. But yard penalty. Creekmore again called for holding, so we have to try it again. Odds are a little reduced that Murray will hit this from 37 yards. About a three and four chance. No sweat. His fifth field goal of the day, it's 21-14. Although Detroit got their 21 points in a different kind of way. Uh, five threes and a six. Kind of like how Pittsburgh got 21 in Super Bowl 10. They got a safety. They got a few field goals. They got a touchdown with an extra extra point. And yeah, you could get 21 easily that way. But Chris Berman always say it was like uh, playing blackjack in Vegas, and sometimes you got to get like five or six cards to get to 21. Woodson back deep. Of course, in Vegas, if you have a six-card or an eight-card deck, you could get five threes. Woodson back deep for San Francisco. Takes it just in front of the goal line, moves it, chugs it up past the 30 Holding. to the 37. Team. But again, penalty. They are snake bit by a holding penalty. That's going to back them all the way back to the nine-yard line. So maybe the stars are aligned for Detroit in this game. 13-21 left in regulation. It's first and 10 from the San Francisco nine. And Young gives to Gore. Gore loses a yard. Poor Shea. We will spotlight him. He makes a great tackle out of South Carolina State, one of the great FCS schools. I think they're in the MEAC, actually. Second and 11 at the 8. They wouldn't be in the SWAC because that's more like Texas, Louisiana. I think that's the conference scrambling plays in. FCS conference knowledge with Big Polly. Second and 11 at the 8. And Gore, again, stood up at the line, this time by Joe Schmidt out of Pittsburgh. And it's third and 11 at the 8. Crucial play here for San Francisco's chances. That is complete to McElhaney. McElhaney way short of the first down. McElhaney uh, picking up four. He needed 11. And a season high for Steve Young at 273 yards passing. He's 20 for 30. But he has also thrown for three interceptions. Now, Detroit can go for the jugular here. I'm going to go for a block. Try to make another big play happen. And that punt was a butte by Ray Guy, 54 yards. And that went out of bounds at the 34. We have 11.05 to go in regulation time. 
Detroit leading 21-14, and they got to go for the kill here and use Barry Sanders a heck of a lot. Sanders can go 14 more carries, so his 34th carry will be his last before fatigue sets in. Off tackle right, Barry on first and 10. He stood up behind the line by Khalil Mack. Mack, who now more recently plays for the Chicago Bears. He's out of Buffalo University. It's going to be second down and 11. We'll go three wide, but we're still going to use Barry here. A sweep to the right side with the tight end. Doing a little extra blocking, and that's why you run Barry Sanders all those times. 17 yards. And he's up to 108 on the day. That gets a first and 10 for Detroit right on the HTFL logo that you can't see at the 50-yard line. We're going to have Sanders blocking as we're going to try a quick pass, try to cross up San Francisco's defense, go to Herman Moore. But that's an incompletion. No, no, I beg your pardon. That's a sack by Leo Namalini, his first of the day. A five-yard loss, and that makes this is this is going to be a tough hill to climb for the Lions. A second and fifteen, off tackle left. Barry Sanders will just try to whack the yardage down a little bit. Sanders bobbing and weaving for twelve yards, and that'll make it a much more manageable play. Third and three, ball at the forty-three, eight fifty-five to go, and we're going to go off tackle left with Barry Sanders. We're going to run it. And he gets the first down, a five-yard play. Willis on the stop for San Francisco, and Detroit could chew up some more clock. 8.15 now left in regulation. We'll go back to Sanders on a dive, first and 10. And that's another bob and weave situation. Sanders, he could, he could do it with the best of him in his career. Seven yards, 132 on the day. On 25 carries, it's now second down and three. And with Sanders fatiguing a little bit, we're going to go play action, look to Charlie Sanders. And that's a dump off to James Jones. He gains eight yards, another first down for Detroit. First and ten at the San Francisco 23. Murray has kicked five field goals today. He might be called upon for number six. Call start. Offense, number 66, five-yard penalty, repeat first down. You hear our uh, official there, Sewell, called for a false start. But we'll just go to Barry Sanders and keep feeding them the ball. Pitch to the right side on first and 15. And, yeah, the running game seems to have a cumulative effect as it goes along. A one-yard gain. His 26th rush of the day is up to 133. We're just going to keep going to him. Trapped to the left side for Barry, second and 14. And Barry gets the first down. A pickup of 14, and they measure, and he gets the first. It's now at the 13-yard line. Billy Sims has come into the game. He no stranger to big plays in this game. Three carries for 29, two catches for 19, and we're going to give him a shot at it in this double tight end set. A trap to the right side, bounced off a one defender, tackled by Hardman, and that's a two-yard gain. We, this is a 10-play, 55-yard drive. More importantly, the drive has taken six minutes and 48 seconds off the clock, and Detroit will slow it down, and they will give it once again a sweep to the left side to Billy Sims. And Sims, very close. No, he did get the first down. Patrick Willis with his 10th tackle of the day, but more importantly, Detroit has a first and goal at the three. San Francisco came into this game tied with the best record in the HTFL. That is now in dire jeopardy. First and goal with 326 left at the three. And since the running game is running so well, we're just going to keep at it. And we're going to go uh, Billy Sims on a dive over the middle. <sighs> And he gains a yard, which is not a bad thing for Detroit at this stage of the game, as that clock will now run under three minutes. And Detroit is not going to call another play until that clock, that play clock that uh, that Bobby Lane can see in front of him gets down to a very low single digit. 
21-14, Detroit on the verge of an upset here. Off tackle right, Sims. And that might seal the deal. Touchdown, Billy Sims in Detroit. And the crowd here at Ford Field going absolutely bonkers. As Sims might have delivered the final dagger here for the Gold Raiders today. Your point after by Murray is good. He has had quite a game. Five field goals at an extra point. He's had 16 of the Lions' 28 points. So it's 28-14. Woodson back deep for San Francisco. It's going to be taken instead by one of the up men, which was Roberson. He returned it out to the 29. Now, San Francisco making changes. They're going to put Roger Craig, great pass catcher, out of the uh, running back position. And they're going to go four wide. They're bringing in Cliff Branch and Freddie Belitnikoff. A couple of Raiders joining the wide receiver core here. First and 10 at the 29. But the big enemy right now for San Francisco is the clock. Young was looking for Parks on that play. Larry providing good coverage for Detroit. Second and 10. The ball at the 29. It's Young. And that's a screen to Roger Craig, or a little check down. That only gained three yards. 2.05 now left. Third and seven at the 32. If you're looking at the timeout situation right now, each team has their full complement. So third and seven at the 32. It's Young, and he finds Volitnikov, but there's a marker. Offense. Number 63, 10-yard penalty. And that first down will not count. Detroit will take the penalty and make it third and 17 with a minute 53 to go. 28-14, Detroit leading. Parks with a catch, but he's going to be short of the first. It's going to be fourth and five. San Francisco calls a timeout. They have two left. And Young must hit this play for five yards. Young had the scramble. He threw to Craig. It was over his head. And in completion, Detroit has the ball. And I think you could safely say this party might be over. 28-14. Detroit cannot celebrate yet with San Francisco having two timeouts to go. We'll trap it right with Barry Sanders. No game. Wilcox on the stop. San Francisco using their second timeout. They have one left. But what a surprise this would be to the HTFL. As Ellie joins me behind me, sitting uh, on the top of my seat. Second and 10 at the 38. We'll give it to Jones. Don't fumble. He gains four. San Francisco calls their last timeout. Third and six. We'll go full house. And we'll run a dive play here. Then I can find the button. I can't find it here on the, on the play sheet. We'll just give it to Barry. And that's three more yards. He's up to 150 on the day. And they will run the clock all, down, all the way down to 23 seconds. And they're going to bring on Eddie Murray. He will try his sixth field goal of the day, this being a 44-yarder. Don't know what the HTFL record is for field goals in a game, but he pulled that one. It's not going to matter. San Francisco will get it back with 19 seconds to go, but they're not going to get two touchdowns in 19 seconds, I would think. So let's just run this string out. Young to throw. Going deep. That's all he could do, looking for Cliff Branch. And the pass sailed above them, incomplete. Five seconds left to go. We'll go 3-1, deep zone prevent. This game will be over after this last play. Again, looking deep for Branch, incomplete. The ball game is over, and Detroit has done it. They have pulled off an upset today, 28-14 over the San Francisco Gold Raiders, who now fall to 6-2, and two, and Detroit will go to 5-3. and three. Murray kicked one, two, three, four, five field goals. Sanders, the MVP, I assume they mean Barry Sanders and not Charlie Sanders. Uh, Detroit perfect in the red zone, albeit with two field goals. They have the ball 35 minutes, 52 seconds. They ran 58 plays to San Francisco's 50. 
We'll go over to the player yardage, uh, player stats. Young had the better day, 22 of 36, 3, 288. Lane only threw 17 passes, but when you have Barry Sanders in the backfield, you don't need to throw a lot of passes. Barry, 29 carries, 150 yards. His longest game was only 17, and he had an average of 5.2 yards. Six of his carries went for 10 yards. He had one touchdown. And let's see, what else happened? Kittle, six catches for 108, so he led in receptions and reception yardage. Your MVP today, uh, not your MVP, your MVP was Barry Sanders, I think. Leading tackler was Willis for San Francisco with 11. So that does it. And you got a bonus uh, recap of Chicago Green Bay. Uh, this afternoon, because I forgot to do the game on the recaps last Friday. This has been Big Polly coming to you with Ella at my side, who I'm petting right now. Godspeed and God bless. Tomorrow, if Ella will stop playing with my monitor, we will come back and do Cleveland and Houston for you. Cleveland coming in 5-2. and two. They are the favorites. Houston will be 4-3, and three, and I get to play around with Earl Campbell. So we have that game for you tomorrow. Also some PWT tomorrow. Godspeed and God bless everybody. I'm going to get out of here before Ella wrecks something. Bye-bye for now, everybody.